Hey, what up everyone? I'm Cool, and this is Gems04. And today, uh, I'm going to be going over... This is either my best idea ever, or my worst idea ever. Um, but in my, with my luck, it's probably like somewhere in the middle. But anyway, I'm going to be going over the the most sensitive topics in Gems of War. People get mad when you bring this stuff up. My opinion. You know what I mean? I've been doing this for... Um, four and a half years now, making videos, Gems of War. I've been, um, pl probably playing the game going on five years now, right? Um, I'm in a pretty high-level guild. I got almost all the troops. I'm totally free to play. Uh, a lot of resources and everything. Two different accounts. Um, have over a thousand, uh, videos. Um, over a million views. Um, you know, just telling you, like, my credentials before we start talking and... First of all, if you're going to get mad, just don't even watch this video, first of all. Like, I'm not speaking to any person in particular. Second of all, it's probably going to be ranting, raving, and rambling. So if you're one of those, get to the point, or give my 38 seconds back, or I wish I never watched this video type of people, then this ain't the video for you. Once again, this is just an idea I had, and I want to get it off my chest, and I think it would make a good video, hopefully. But yeah, I want to go over the most uh, sensitive topics <clears throat> in Gems of War, and like my reason for uh, my side, and then also like Devil's Advocate, and why I think people get mad about it, um, and all that stuff. You'll see how it goes here. But uh, let's dip our toe in, and as an example before we start, like... Um, some people out there, they get mad when you mention certain things, it's, and, and usually it's because they're doing that certain thing, and they don't want to stop doing that certain thing, and they don't want to be told that it's wrong that they're doing that certain thing. And when I'm talking about these things, I'm not speaking to any one person. I'm like speaking to a broad audience. I'm trying to help people out. So, so there's people out there that don't know. They don't know like this is not a good thing to do. So I want to let them know before they start making it a habit, a bad habit or whatever. Other people, it's a good thing to do. Like, they like doing it, and it helps them for this reason, and they enjoy it. And so more power to you. Please don't think I'm talking to you. I, how am I supposed to know? Like, for example, if, you, if I say, if I say um, don't pick your nose, because if you pick your nose, you're going to get germs in your nasal cavity and it's not good for you. Like if you just touch money or something and then you go and you, you pick a booger and you pick your nose and then you get like germs up in there. If I say like, hey, in my opinion, picking your nose is not a good idea. Well, if you if you get mad about that and you're like, well, I love picking my nose. Well, you know what? Don't like scream and yell at me and get mad about it because then everybody's going to know that you pick your nose. Like first of all. Second of all, like I'm not speaking to you. Like I don't know that you pick your nose. Like I don't know that. I don't know what every single one of you out there is doing, so there's no way that I'm specifically targeting you. I have no idea that you pick your nose, and you like you have your reasons. You know, you want to clear, you got clear your nasal cavity. You want to breathe better. They taste really good. They have nutrition, whatever it may be. Right? You have your reasons. So maybe you have a really good reason to pick your nose, but it's my opinion that you should not pick your nose because it's bad. It's you know you could get sick or whatever, but don't go yelling at me about how I feel like you shouldn't pick your nose because then it just – everybody knows that you pick your nose, right? And then also, like, you have your reasons, but I'm still never going to agree with those reasons. But we can still be, like, cool. Like, I, the person I argue with most in the world is my brother. Like, and we're best friends, right? So he may disagree with one thing. I say I he's devil's advocate. I, I'm argue, We argue. We're still cool, though. Like, he has his reason. I have my reason. He makes a good point. I make a good point. We both learn something, but we still both believe whatever we believe, and we still respect each other and respect each other's opinions. If he wants to continue to pick his nose or whatever it is, I'm cool with that. Do that, bro. Just You heard my side, my opinion. You shouldn't do that. But hey, go ahead. Keep doing it. It's no skin off my back. I'm just, But I'm going to tell everybody else, hey, you probably shouldn't pick your nose because you know why. And then he can go and tell everybody, hey, I love picking my nose because it tastes good and it clears my nasal cavity. You know what I mean? So anyway, let's get into this. We're almost five minutes in. I told you to be like ranting and raving. But here's the first one. First, mo you know, one of the most sensitive topics in Jimbus of War. 
people get mad when you bring this stuff up. All right, number one is uh, defense. Um, you know, PvP defense, Guild War defense, stuff like that. Um, my, my, I'm going to say, like, why I tell people not to worry about it so much. That's my opinion. And then I'm going to say, like, why I think people uh, do it and enjoy it and uh, whatever. And, you know, devil's advocate, both sides. And, like, why I tell people my side and everything. So as far as, like, PvP defense go, um, I just don't feel like you should spend a ton of time worrying about your defend team for PvP. Um, the better thing to do is, like, make four four firebombs or whatever and have a bunch of people beat it, and then you get revenge battles. And I think in the ro long run, and this is going to be the hardest one for me because uh, the people that love doing their defend teams, especially Guild Wars defends and everything, they're usually really smart, high-level players, so they're going to be the hardest for me to argue with. But I think this is the one we can dip our toe because I feel like it's not going to... A lot of people aren't going to get mad about it. It's just going to be uh, a very select few. So we'll dip our toe in with, with this first one. Um, but yeah, so PvP defense, like, I, my advice is don't spend a ton of time worrying about it. Um, Guild Wars defense, don't spend a ton of time worrying about it. Uh, reason being, like, PvP defend, it, it doesn't, like... What are you getting from that? Like, other than I know, I know what I know why some people do it, um, but the only reason you should be doing like spending a bunch of time uh, working on your PvP defend team is if it's a Guild Wars defend team that you're testing your attack team against, right? Um, that way you can make your attack team better. Attack, uh, offense is king in this game. Defense not king. You should spend 95% of your time in this game worrying about offensive stuff and then like 5% worrying about defensive stuff. And that's all I'm saying. I'm not saying it's totally worthless and you should never, ever think about defense. I'm just saying like 95% of the time you shouldn't. Um, but yeah, PvP defend team, like why, why sit there and worry about that? Like, first of all, you don't gain anything from winning a bunch of PV, PvP defend battles, right? Like, I think you actually gain more if you lose a bunch of PvP defend battles. Um, you get revenge battles, you get, uh, like, rivals and stuff like that. You get more glory when you do PvP. Um, pretty sure. I'm not 100% on that. I don't do a ton of PvP. But all I know is, like, you're not even in control of that team, first of all. So if you even win, like, are you happy that you made a team that the AI won with, won with and everything? But... The main reason people do the defend stuff is for Guild Wars, though. So um, now my advice for PvP defend is just make a four firebomb team or or a whatever the 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 troop is that you need for the campaign. Like help people out, put that in there so they can kill it and get the task done, um, or just whatever flex your Zulgoth or whatever your awesome troop is. But make it not a crazy orb weaver. Let's be a stinky wrestler and make people run away because they get annoyed type of team. Like, don't be that guy. But uh, the reason most people would say, hey, Guild Wars, though, if I have a good defend team, um, I can face my, I can use my attack team against my own Guild Wars defend team and make my attack team better. That's the only good reason, really, because you, you score the same amount of points, whether or not your Guild Wars Defend team wins or loses. Like, as long as you have 24 different troops in there as your Guild Wars Defend, you only you get this 12,000 points either way. If your Guild Wars Defend team wins every single battle, which isn't going to happen, uh, you get the same amount of points as if your Guild Wars Defend team loses every single battle. Did you know that? You don't score points as your Guild Wars Defend team fights the other guild. Uh, if your Guild Wars defend team like destroys them in one turn and uses the best, you know, mana efficiency and doesn't lose any troops, you know that doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. They don't score any extra points. The only time you score points in Guild Wars is on offense or for setting your 24 different troops that you get those 2,000 points at the in the first battle of the day. Your Guild Wars defend team isn't scoring you any extra points. 
Now, if it beats the enemy team, of course, you're preventing them from getting more points. But the thing is, like, are you Paragon? Are you in bracket one or two? How many people that that how many people out of all the people in, in Gems of War are actually those people? Are the Paragon in bracket one or bracket two? Because those are the only people that are gonna guarantee face like a bunch of people and and hopefully they win and turn them back and make them lose so that your guild does better. If you're like way down in your in your guild, like say you're in bracket one or two. And you're not the Paragon. You're just way down in the middle somewhere. Well, uh, there's like a percent chance that you could face nobody. So, I mean, you might face one or two people. They might win. They might lose. Uh, you know? Like, how much time are you going to spend on that, that chance that you might face somebody and you might, the AI might win? You know what I'm saying? It's not even you controlling the team. You may not even face anybody. The only people that should be worrying about that are bracket one, bracket two, paragons, maybe even champions, but anything lower than that, I feel like diminishing returns, you're wasting your time, unless you're using your attack team against your own Guild Wars defend team, and still like percent, like five percent of the time. I would rather um, do anything else. You're not getting any resources for doing that, so spend your time doing something else where you can get resources. That's the whole thing. While all that time you're sitting there tweaking your defend team and fighting your attack team against it over and over and over, tweaking, tweaking, fighting your attack team against it over and over and over, you could be doing anything else. You could be getting medals. You could be going into the underworld and doing pure faction. You could be opening vault keys. You could be doing some other event. You could be doing just PV, regular PvP with your attack team and getting better with your attack team and tweaking your attack team. Like, There's so many other things you could be doing that are more profitable and better than sitting there and tweaking your your defend team. So that's one, that's the first one, man. People get mad, and the reason they get mad is because they're spending all this time on their defend team, and then they don't like to hear that it's a waste of time. And for some people, it's not, honestly. If you're Paragon in bracket one or two, or the, or the next level down, like champion in bracket one or two, then it, it it's more important than than I'm saying it is, but uh, it's still, in my opinion, not that important. It's more of a like a copy pasty situation than a like sit there and tweak and tweak and you know. It's a certain amount of five percent. Offense is king. Guild Wars defends any defend. You shouldn't spend that much time on it. That's just my opinion. You could be doing other things that are more important, and there's a very very small amount of people. That should be worrying about that. And maybe that's you. That Maybe that's you. So don't get mad. Maybe I'm not talking about you. But yeah, that's the first one. That's really a sensitive topic. People don't like to be told that uh, defends don't matter. In Gems of War, it's not like, oh, I need to defend my city from everyone. Uh, if they attack me and destroy my team, I lose a bunch of stuff. You don't. You don't lose anything. It's fine. It doesn't matter. If your PvP defend team loses... Over and over and over and over. Who cares? It doesn't matter. You don't lose anything. You're not going to gain anything if they win over and over and over and over. It doesn't matter. It, like I said, it's almost better if they lose over and over and over so you can get revenge battles and uh, uh, rival battles and all that stuff if you're doing PvP. And then for Guild Wars, defend team. How often is Guild Wars, first of all? Every five weeks or something? So already, how much should you be worrying about something that's only every five weeks, right? Second of all, is anybody even going to face your team? Are you Paragon? Are you the champion of Bracket 2 or something? Then you probably shouldn't be worrying about it if you're in Bracket 4, 5, 6, 10, 20. Who cares? Practice with your attack team and go 5-0 and and get 9,000-something points. Set your 24 different defend troops. You're good. That's perfect. That's enough. You don't need to keep tweaking your Guild Wars defend team. There's no point. They're not scoring any extra points. My crappy Guild Wars defend team with 24 different troops is scoring exactly the same amount of points as your awesome double empowered orb weaver bandit stinky wrestler team. Like it's the same, same points. The only thing that that matters is if you're if you're Paragon, everybody has to face you. Everybody, can, you have to go through you no matter what. So if you're Paragon of like bracket one or two, then yeah, 
that maybe I'm not talking about you right now. But whenever I say stuff like this, it's for the wider audience. Like hopefully thousands of people, normally hundreds. But uh, yeah, I'm talking to like 99 out of 100 people, not 100 out of 100. So just respect my opinion, basically. And do you, if you love, like maybe your fun, the funnest thing in the world to you is your defend team. I, I, I would say, in my opinion, it's a waste of time, unless you're Paragon or something, or you don't, uh, but, you know, just, people don't like to hear it, because they don't want to be told that they're doing something wrong, or that they're wasting their time, but I want to tell people that are, like, on the fence about it, like, this guy's saying, work on my defense, but this guy's not saying, I just want to say my piece, and say why I think it doesn't matter that much, and that's why. So that's the first one, if you didn't like that one, you might not want to go to number two. Because we got the second most sensitive topic in Gems of War coming up right now. Which, in my opinion, is spending money on the game. So this one's probably going to tweak a little bit more, like make a little more people mad maybe. But first thing first, you know, thank you so much for spending money on the game. I really do appreciate it. All's my In my defense, whenever, whenever I'm talking about spending money on the game or not... Um, I'm just trying to help people uh, before they spend money on the game just to let them know that you don't have to do that. You don't have to. Look at my account. I haven't spent any money on the game. You can get to where I'm at with everything that I have without spending any money on the game. Two different accounts. People accuse me of like I'm cheating or something. That's like accusing a, a, a MMA, MMA fighter of taking steroids that does not take steroids. It's almost a compliment to me. Like, oh, there's no way that you got that many resources and fully ascended those troops and did all that without spending any money on the game. I'm like, whoa, thanks, man, because I didn't. And I did, I, you know, you can tell because I still have to, I still have to pay for scouting and I have zero VIP. Like, you can tell. So, but yeah, whenever I talk about spending money on the game or not, I completely realize. That we need people to spend money on the game. I realize I should be thanking these people for spending money on the game. We need people to spend money on the game. But my the thing I'm trying to get, get across is you don't need to do that. If if you don't you don't have it, you don't need to do that to get ahead in this game. You don't have to. You don't have to spend money on the game. Just look at my I'm just trying to be an example for people. And why do I think people get mad when I say these things? Because they've already spent money on the game. And they think I'm talking down to them, and like I think I'm better than them. It's the opposite, man. I, I'm, you, you're able to spend money on a game, right? And I'm not able to spend money on a game. So doesn't that make me look broke or cheap? Like I can't even spend, you know, 50 bucks on a video game. Doesn't that like, no? So you should feel great if you have if you spend a bunch of money on this game. You should feel good. And like when I'm when I'm saying. That my opinion, you don't need to spend money on the game. Like, I don't get why people get super mad about that. I'm just trying to help people that are trying to decide whether they should or shouldn't spend money on the game. I'm not trying to say that anybody that spent money on the game, they're lower than me or something. Or I'm better than them or something. Like, I'm not trying to say that. I'm just saying, like, you don't have to spend money on the game to get everything in the game. You can get every single thing almost in the game without spending any money. And whenever I'm, like saying it disparagingly about deals or money or offers or anything like that it's towards the developers it's never towards a single person i'm not saying oh jim bob over there spent eight hundred dollars on the game ha 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 he's a loser no you've never heard me say that about any single person like this guy let's single this guy out and say he you know he's no good and he stinks because he spent this much money on the game i've never ever said that so if you feel some type of way about it, uh, how do you, how am I supposed to know that you, how much you spent on the game? Like, I don't know. And thank you, though. But thank you. Really, thank you. You're keeping the game going. But people get really mad about that when you talk about, uh, like, I guess they think I'm trying to say I'm better or something because I haven't spent any money on the game. Uh, and then that's not the point when I talk about it. The point when I talk about it is those people that are deciding – on whether or not they need is this game pay to win do i have to spend money on this game to make it worthwhile do i need to buy things to actually have a chance in this game 
my i'm trying to tell them no you don't you don't have to spend money on the game you can get everything in the game without spending money but some people get mad man because they already spent tons of money on the game and they're feeling like oh man he's he's saying he's better than me but i'm not dude so please don't take it any kind of way you know the defend thing please don't take it any kind of way the money thing please don't take it any kind of way um yeah we need people spending money on the game but those are two like over the years two topics that people get really mad about for some reason and you know i don't get why like a specific person would ever get mad about anything because there's no how am i supposed to know there's like no possible way i could know that you mr specific person are doing that thing that i'm telling other people they don't need to do and that i'm disparaging you i'm not like how am i supposed to know that you're doing that thing and unless you come back at me and say er grr like you shouldn't blah 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 about that thing that's then i know like yeah then i know but you're telling me you're telling me that you're picking your nose at that point. Like, you don't have to tell me. Let's just respect each other. And you respect my opinion. I don't even know about your opinion, honestly. So what's like what's the problem? I don't get it. I'm just trying to help a broader audience. I'm not speaking to, like, ten specific people. I'm just trying to speak to, like, a thousand different people. You know what I'm saying? And the last most sensitive topic, I don't even, I probably shouldn't even talk about this one. This is probably the worst one. It's probably a mistake. Um, this has already been a rambling, ranting, raving video that I probably shouldn't put out at all. Uh, whew, should I do the last one? <sighs> okay, the last one, um, you know, uh, the last most sensitive topic is when you talk about other gems of war channels you know uh how should i say this um you know like i said i've been doing this for over four and a half years you've seen all my you know you've seen my channel for that long you've heard me speak about it for that long you know that i know what i'm talking about right i've been doing that for that long there's so many there's over a thousand videos that you can look at there's hours and hours and hours and hours of me speaking about the game right so there's a track record there with me. There's a track record there with Tacit. I totally endorse Tacit. I know some of you, you, you don't you don't like them because, you know, well, whatever reason. Um, but I would still say, if somebody asked me, hey, what other channels can I watch for Gems of War? I would say Tacit. He, he's been here before me. I learned from him. And I have nothing against him. Like, he's he knows his stuff. So I know that he knows his stuff. So I would never talk down about him in that in that regard. But any other channel out there, I have no idea. In my opinion, some of them are like, you ever seen that 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 hot chick on the side of the road, her car's broken down and her her hood's up, and you you want to be that superhero, you want to pull over and help her get her car started or whatever, and then she stabs you in the back and kidnaps you and takes all your money. Yeah, you never know. You guys remember Granny Gems? Remember Granny Gems? You guys remember uh, Key Lime? I know, this is going to be one of the worst ones. So if I say a name that you you love that guy, you love that person. You remember those? They're not here anymore, right? They're not here anymore, right? I mean, you would have defended them to the death while they were here, right? Well, how are you? Do you know this new person? Do you know them? Do you know, their, uh, do you know that everything they're saying that could be made up? Like, you know, did you guys know that I have a Lamborghini and I, I, I adopt kids on the weekend and I just went to space? Like, I could say anything on the Internet. You wouldn't know if it's true or not, you know? So I would just I would say just be careful. We don't want to we don't want to the people that, you know, Granny Jim's Grant, you know, she's the best. Where's she at now? You know, everybody got egg on their face uh key lime who was a, a nice dude and everything but he's gone now he's gone you were everybody was like yeah 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 him him gone disappeared you may think he's awesome and he's got his reasons and he told you personally his reasons or whatever but the fact remains gone i'm still here i've been here for almost five years um track record you know what i mean just be careful with these other different new channels it's the the lady with her hood up on the side of the road you never know she needs your help you know uh, i've had some of them 
just a month or two ago, were asking me the dumbest questions about Gems of War. So anybody can go out there, watch me or Tacit or whoever, grab a team or two, go to the forum, copy-paste something, throw it up on the internet, act like they need people's help, and then here come the superheroes with their capes on and everything. But just hit me up uh, hit me up in a year or two when, when they're gone and, uh, you know, the eggs on your face or whatever. Um, and I get it, man. You don't, everybody wants to be that underground. They want to find the newest thing. They don't want the Coke or the Pepsi. They want the, the nasty melon, watermelon Mountain Dew, right? But, you know, that's, they're, they're there for a reason still. Coke and Pepsi, right? The nasty watermelon Mountain Dew, it's cool, like, ooh, look at me, I found the newest thing, the underground, the underdog. But you don't know as much about them. Just be careful is all I'm saying. Don't talk to strangers. Be careful. Anybody can say anything on the internet, and they can gain sympathy. I can say whatever, and and or, and you you couldn't prove whether it's right or wrong. Like I could say anything, and you couldn't tell me that it's wrong. So I could say anything in the world to gain sympathy, and you couldn't you couldn't call me out and say that it's not true, right? Because we're on the internet. Nobody knows for sure. So just be careful, man. Be careful with that. That 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 hot chick on the side of the road with her hood up, you know, that's gonna ooh my she disconnected her own battery just so she could come up behind you and boom get you in the head, steal all your crap, and then she's back there the next week acting like oh my car's broke down, please help me, we're Superman. But yeah, anyway, I better end it there. It's probably like bad idea for this video. I don't even know if I'm gonna put it out, man. And I know some people are gonna get big mad, get big mad, butt hurt. But don't be one of those. Nobody's talking to you as a... I didn't name any specific names. I'm not talking to any specific person. It's for a broader audience. Just I just wanted to mention what I think are, over the years, what are the most sensitive topics that get me the most backlash. It's, it's defend teams. It's defend teams, in my opinion, on that. It's paying... It's money. It's paying money in this game whether the game's pay to win or not, or whether you need to spend money on the game or not, and how you feel about that. And it's other Gems of War channels, and how you feel about that. You might be that Superman for that lady on the side of the road, or that old lady, that she needs help across the street. Go help her across the street. And then next, the next day, she's there again, needs help again. And you're like, didn't I just help you do that yesterday? She's like, oh yeah, well I need help again. And you're like, okay, I'll help you again to move this chair in, into that room. And then she's back out there the next day with the chair. She needs help again, taking the same chair back into the same room. It's, uh, you know, you got to be careful, you know. Some people aren't as, uh, you know, above board. And how are you supposed to know? Just be careful out there, man. Four or five years track record, hours and hours, over a thousand videos. Like, that's a track record that you can count on. That you know what type of person I am. Some new person that's making claims that to get sympathy. Just be careful is all I'm saying. They need your help though. Put your cape on. I know people love to help people, and I, you know, I, I get it though. I totally get it. You wanna, you wanna, you wanna take the information that you've learned about the game and help somebody else and show what you've learned. I get it. I totally understand. Just be careful out there. Anyway, like, share, subscribe. Consider joining. It helps a lot. Tell your good about the channel. Comment below. And I'll see y'all next time. How many dislikes is this one going to get? Peace.